Okay, people, what's going on? What's going on? Good morning. At least it's morning right now. It is 7.54. 7.55. Yeah, I, I should be somewhere, but I couldn't resist. I had to hop on here. Discuss this. Um, this is not directly Cyrax, but it's kind of Cyrax related in the fact that it has to do with uh, predators like Cyrax. All of you have probably heard of the predator poachers, Alex Rosen and his team. They uh, do a sting operation similar to the old To Catch a Predator show. Anyways, um, well, they uh, confronted a man in South Dakota, I believe it was, South Dakota, north or south, one of the two, um, confront this guy at his house regarding allegations of, I don't know if uh, he texting a minor or texting a decoy or uh, receiving trading CP, something to that effect. They uh, show up at the guy's house. They talk with him. The guy instantly, pretty much just instantly, comes clean and admits everything. He uh, admits to viewing the worst kind of CP imaginable. I've watched a small clip from it, and I'm going to post a small clip, but I'm not going to post the entire thing because it just gets extremely too graphic. I don't even want to have to listen to it again. The guy, uh, basically, he was into uh, babies, put it that way. I'm not talking about teenagers. I'm not talking about kids 10 years old. I'm talking about infants, babies. He admits to watching babies being molested, you know. That's just a horrible thing to think about. He admits this. On the video to Alex. Yeah. So. Anyways. Um, police show up. Sheriff's department. Whatever. And. They go up to the door to confront the guy. The guy runs inside. And removes his brain matter from his head with a pew pew if you know what I mean you know the dude removes his own brain matter I hate the fact that we can't use that certain S word that has to do with death but YouTube can be a bitch at times social media in general I don't get it. That's a whole other topic. But there's certain words that, you know, you really got to watch yourself when making these videos. So from now on, I would guess I will just use the term deleted brain matter. Um, so the guy's name, Donald, Donald, I almost said Donald Rosen. That ain't right. Let me pull it up here. Hmm. No, it's start Donald Letcher. Donald Letcher of South Dakota. 60 years old. Uh, there's um, this guy. He's not an innocent guy. This wasn't like a first-time thing. Back in the 90s, 95, he was arrested for molesting his girlfriend's nine-year-old, eight- or nine-year-old daughter. He was later exonerated by some soft-hearted appeals court that for some reason thinks people like that can be rehabilitated. I don't know. I don't know how or why, but somehow he was exonerated after being convicted. Looks like. I'm sorry. There. 
Yeah, somehow the guy was exonerated. I'm going to put up a paper regarding that. First, I'll show the video, though, of his confrontation with Alex. Once again, this here, for those who don't know, I don't know how you can't know. This is Alex Rosen right here, the big black guy. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Alex is the dude in the blue shirt with the big bushy beard. He's uh, the hero of the day, put it that way. This piece of shit over here with the sunglasses propped up on his head is EDP. Forget his real name. EDP. He is one of their more famous catches. EDP at one time was a very famous YouTube celebrity. I thought he was a piece of shit back then. I didn't like him. Everyone else seemed to like him. I never did. I mean, before he got busted, I didn't like the guy. Just something about him ticked me off. Anyways, they busted EDP in one of these things. And EDP used the excuse, I'm just here to get a cupcake. When he was actually there to meet a um, teenage girl for sex. You know, that's EDP right there, the black dude. And, uh, Alex Rosen right here, big uh, big guy with the blue shirt on. Everyone says he looks like, um, well, I won't go into that. Yeah, I will. Everyone says Alex Rosen looks like, damn, what can I, Marty from the, Marty from the uh, music biz, Marty from the Cyrex mess. Marty's real face. The the Marty you see, God, I'm getting so off topic. The Marty you see um, in all the pictures and stuff, the old man in a suit and grayish hair, that's not really what he looks like. He kind of resembles this dude. But I digress. I digress. I'm getting way off topic. I really don't see much of a connection other than the fact they both got beards and both big guys. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Let's get back on topic here. EDP, you suck. Okay. Okay. Let's get back on topic. Let's watch this video. Interact. I hope this is the right video. Yeah, this is it. This is just a short clip showing showing the dude go inside and police yanking on his door. And I think He's by then he must have went in and just instantly offed himself. Deleted oh deleted his personal hard drive. I don't know if police heard a uh, gunshot or what, or if they just, for some reason, concerned. They rip the door open, and go in. Let's play that again. Oh my god, that weird shit. He's got weird shit. kind of funny Alex it was Alex's voice in the background he said he's going to delete his shit well he really did delete his shit he really did Alex thought the guy was charging inside to try and erase his hard drive real quick which I don't I don't know how you could possibly do it that fast throw your damn computer in the tub or something I don't know but yeah he's going to delete his shit well, he did. He deleted his shit, all right. He's got deleted shit. He's got deleted shit. Oh my God, he's got deleted shit. He's got deleted shit. 
People ask me, how can you laugh at this? A man killed himself. Oh, my God. How can you laugh at this? It's the situation. It's not the police showing up for a guy wanted for DUI or something like that. Oh, my God. Goes off and kills himself. It ain't something like that. This guy is the worst of the worst. These type of people are the worst of the worst. They want to go ahead and off themselves fine. You know? I have no sympathy. No sympathy whatsoever. It's not as if he was wanted for something, I, even robbery or something like that. You know, they have arrest warrant for robbery or something. It's nothing like that. You know, I could see maybe having some sympathy. But for what these people, what guys like this have done, no sympathy at all. None. His name's Donald La Donald Larson. <laughs> God damn, what's wrong with me today? I'm getting everyone's names mixed up. Donald Letcher. Let's just take a look at the pretty boy here. Here he is. You can tell he's an older man. I've seen one report that said he was 31, another that said he's 60. He's obviously not 31. Obviously not. There he is. Yeah. That's Alex there from behind. That's him, the older guy, 60 years old like to watch videos of men assaulting babies actual babies infants he was uh, convicted once again in 1995 of let's see here molesting his girlfriend's nine-year-old daughter in Bridgewater South Dakota it's all easy to find. It's not hidden. It's not something that you got to dig through police records for. Anyways, somehow, some way, he was exonerated by some group that goes around and likes to push to have sickos and criminals released from prison. I, I don't get it. Some damn, I, uh, I want to say liberal, but usually... Usually these are liberal groups, you know. You never hear of a conservative group going around trying to get pedos released from prison. I mean, think about it. I don't know. Maybe there are. Maybe there are. The girl told police that from August 92 to July 93, when Letcher lived with his mother, with her mother, Letcher forced her to fondle his penis every night that her mother worked the night shift. Now, I'm supposed to feel bad for this guy after he goes in that house and pops himself in the head. And it goes on to say he was exonerated in 96. I, I don't know the details why he was exonerated, how... I don't want even want to read up on it. At the time of the reported crime, he was 29. I don't know. You know, I guess if he had went through the rest of his life without any other accusations, you would have to almost, I hate to say believe, but... I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know, you women out there, be careful who the hell you let around your kids. You can't be said enough. Men, too, be careful. Because there are some sick women out there, too. It goes both ways. But mostly women, you know, be careful who you let around your kids. Because it's just... It's a messed up world we live in. One other thing, one other thing about Donald Letcher, the man of the hour. 
I found something else about him. I almost forgot to bring it up. Now, I'm 99% certain this is the same Donald Letcher. gotta be. I mean, there are no pictures. Basically, basically, in, what am I trying to do? What am I trying to say here? Uh, back three years ago, he was involved in a DUI hit and run, allegedly, allegedly, I'm saying allegedly with all this, allegedly involved in a DUI hit and run in which he hit a, how is that noise? Neighbor taking out their trash can. DUI hit and run where he allegedly hit a six-year-old girl with a car. Of course it was a hit and run. It was in a car. Ran over a six-year-old girl. Gotta be. I mean, 58 years old, two years ago, he would have been 58. Same city, same town, same state sentenced to 25 days in jail apparently the kid didn't die thank god apparently the kid didn't die Let's see if i can scroll through this i ain't gonna read it all it's a long story Donald Letcher was sentenced on Wednesday, November 23rd to 25 days in jail, as well as a 30-day license suspension, which all seems pretty damn light, considering what he did, and two years of probation, pleading guilty to charges related to hit and run of a child. Authority in Hanson County were, were dispatched to a rural property. Blah, 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 blah. For reports of a child being ran over. Uh, a little girl playing with the kitten in her family's driveway. Apparently, I don't know how somehow he ended up hitting the kid. And this stupid thing popped up. Want me to subscribe and I'm not doing that. You can find it out there. All this information, once again, easy to find, easy to find. Yeah. What the hell is all this crap? I don't know. Let's just get this off here. Remove. Yes, okay. Yeah, it's all easy to find. It's all out there. If you're interested, God, how come this has been 20 minutes already? There he is, Donald Ledger. Into a sick life. Into a sick life. Alex Rosen, you know, I hope you and your crew are not in it are not into any legal trouble over this. I wish you well. But I'm afraid the way the world works today, it seems like people want to jump and support the criminal while going after the good guy. It just seems to be how things are anymore. But anyways, I guess that's about it. Just 
wanted to jump on here, report this. I should be out doing more important stuff. I'm hungry. I got to get something to eat. It's uh, 8.15 in the morning. I've already been up for about two hours. Yeah, I don't get enough sleep. So anyways, people, have a fun one. Have a good day. Thank you for shopping at Walmart, Target, Meyer, wherever you prefer to shop. Always remember, I don't know, always remember, Cyrax is an idiot. Later.